with every way woman woman in the media with the upcoming presidential elections mm -hmm. we want the we want the candidates to know that we are the women in the media we have some questions and quite frankly we want answers mm -hmm. yes so we, do. we <laughs> had our viewers ask us to write in and i want to tell you some of the questions this one was for president obama mm -hmm. what changes have you made since the last time you ran and what do you think were your biggest mistakes how do you think he would answer that jeslyn yeah, that's a good question well I don't know, but <laughs> let me just say, I think Michelle's doing a great job of coming around with the whole... <laughs> Michelle, so not the president. <laughs> not the president. I know, because honestly, that he's under so much fire. I don't mm. think he can come up with a good answer that's not going to be criticized. Right. So I think she's doing a really great job of backing him up in the social media and really kind of honing in on the women and but, the young and okay. bringing that because they've got to focus on new things and new tactics because the answers are kind of old. So. They're old and they're hard and the questions are tough. Yeah. Right? I want to know if he gets reelected, like will he be more tough? Because I feel like he's kind of like trying to please, he's doing that people pleasing stuff a little bit too much for me. And I just need him to go like, but in that job, you, the wall. you can't ever please that. anybody. So, I mean, you, you know but, what I mean? But that's true. But the thing is, he's trying to waver too much and it's keeping him, I feel like it's keeping him from attaining some of the goals that he's even set. Good. Tasha, here's one that our viewer wrote in. Your wife has been able to stay at home and raise your children. Would you consider giving a tax credit for families who um, have a parent that stays home? What do you think about that question? Well, I that would be a question I would pose and that's to Mitt Romney. Rom Mitt Romney, because exactly. I would want, you know, Mitt Romney, he's a huge family person. His wife got to stay home and take care of children. Now, they cut my taxes so much, I can't even have kids because uh, I got paid for other people's children. <laughs> right. So I think exactly. you should What do you mean you're paying for other people's I'm children? Paying for, I'm, I'm paying for other people's and children we are to go to school. Welfare. I'm paying for everything. other people's children. children. That's right. But I think if you, ha you know, to help people to get married, stay, you know, have a reason to get married, why don't they get mm -hmm. more tax credits for well, being yeah. married? Okay. You know, that, like, like that stay-at-home moms. You know, the 1%, the, the very wealthy, they pay fewer taxes than the rest of us, and okay. I think that has been a I big... I think that's wrong, well, that's, that's something that's we need very to... very wrong. Because that is one thing that um, Obama has kept in, the tax cuts for rich people, mm -hmm. and I feel like that needs to change. And it's that need they also need to stop using the excuse of, oh, well, they'll well, give us more it, jobs, they'll more people, people, but that's crazy. They need to afford a forty thousand dollar dinner at Sarah Jessica Parker's oh, yeah, place right. in that New York. And that's why. So well, they exactly. need a little because more. Because I, I think that it's crazy that because they keep using that excuse of oh well, they'll hire more people if right. you give them the tax cuts. Okay, that's so crap. Jackie, that goes because into stuff does not have to be that high. Here's one of the questions that our viewer wrote in. Um, for President Obama and Mitt Romney, are you going to cut tax breaks for companies that take jobs overseas? As we're talking about taxes. I definitely think he should because it should be, people should get, um, no, not to take jobs overseas, people if they bring them back. I think that they should get tax cuts. Companies that want to bring out jobs no, back. No, the question the is if you were well, going to cut, if you're going to do tax breaks for people who take, or you continue to give them tax breaks for people overseas. No. Honestly, <laughs> though, <laughs> we, if we're going to build America, I mean, we have to build the world, too. Everybody what? is. We have to build, we have to build this nation. No, it's no. safety. No, no, no. We, have we to do have to bring jobs back to America. Yeah, we do. Have to be a and I feel like I actually feel like world. companies should get tax breaks if they bring their companies what you, what, back wait a minute, here. Hold on, hold on, because this is an interesting perspective. Elaborate on that. What do you, well, what do you mean? Here's the thing. In my opinion, it, America's great. I love it. We've been the powerhouse in the world leader for and now so we're thinking. Well, what we're do thinking, you mean, Jasmine? Get to what do you mean by that? Because I'm on edge. Like, what do you mean take care of the world? We're already doing that. Yeah, we we're, do. we're doing that, but the world can't take care of us anymore. And here's the thing: we've been outsourcing to Mexico, China, India, and we need all to these places. Of course, we need to insource, but we have to do it differently. There has to be some kind of respect for what they're doing to build businesses in third world countries. We're helping the world in that way. If we take that right, all and, back, and meanwhile, we they're have our homeless population is rising. Right. There are more problems here. Exactly, healthcare is a mess. Exactly. People are dying and from illnesses. Okay. I mean, all, so and much illegal stuff. Okay. Are Why can we stop giving all these okay, benefits so, to illegal aliens? Okay, so listen, yeah, can we? <laughs> that one's interesting. Let, let me ask you. Here's another question. Actually, we so want you to answer this one. Uh, Mitt Romney will Anne be the ambassador for parents staying at home to raise children. Will that be? Will she be promoting that cause? Hmm. What do you think? I mean, she's the she's the one. She's the stay-at-home mom. You know she got a lot of back for it. You know what? She, she I, I, don't, I don't 
think that anyone should be an ambassador for someone to, to stay at home. <laughs> you know, that, that, that's ridiculous. I think if you can afford to stay at home or you want to stay at yeah. home. You know, I think the question is, because stay-at-home mothers still have a stigmatism. So will she be the one to put the cause out there to say it's okay if that's the it's choice your question. family it's makes? That is, mm -hmm. Because it's still work. As a, as a career person, yeah. HR person, you, you're an HR person, you're working. I don't right. care if you're working inside the home or you're working outside. It is still, still a job. Mm -hmm. It is still a respectable awesome. job. Awesome. Ladies, that that needs to we got done. a question. You know what we'll do? We're going to come back. We'll ask more. We are Women in the Media. You heard our questions. We're looking for answers. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>